Welcome back, peeps. Thank you for tuning in the Band of Bros channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a really interesting one, and I believe one of the best videos that I've ever made in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So this one took me quite a bit. I looked at every single tips in the official Activision one and all the YouTube videos and all the comments, and I've piled up the 50 best tips and tricks that I have found for the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare warzone battle royale mode all right so if you guys do have any other ones any extra ones do comment down below i will be putting them in the comments like i'll be copy and pasting and putting in the comments and the description uh there is a lot so just in case you guys don't hear me because i'm going to try and speak a little bit fast just so i can go through a lot of them because there is quite a bit of them so let's get right into this video so number one when you're dropping open your parachute and cut it immediately to get the extra boost and land faster do this repeatedly number two you can see the enemy diamonds through walls with a recon drone number three if you find stopping power rounds and you already have a specialist pick up stopping power rounds load them into your gun and then pick up the other specialist you can do the same with the claymore and the proximity mine number four supply box rarity goes as follows green uncommon blue rare purple epic gold legendary special supply boxes include some rare items and scavenger contracts number five if you down an enemy and he gets revived a special sound will come up pay attention to this one so you know if it's still a good option to rush number six you can jump at full speed out of a land vehicle and take no damage number seven your main health bar is 100 hp each armor plate is worth an extra 50 hp for a total of 250 hp number eight the AX-50 and HDR snipers can down you in one shot to the head even if you have full armor. Number 9. An armor plate fills up the armor bar to the nearest third. In other words, if you get nicked by a bullet and your armor bar goes down past the two-third mark slightly, equipping an armor plate will only fill the bar back up to the two-third mark. Once you get respawned again, the player parachute immediately. Then observe where your friends are, are and where is the best place to land. Then use the cut and open shoot technique. Number 11, gas mask is a legendary item that will allow you to survive for a little over 10 seconds in the gas. Number 12, loadout drops. Drop from the sky and it allows you to select one of your multiplayer classes. You only get one choice, so choose wisely. Number 13, make sure you have a battle royale class set up before jumping into the game. Include a long range weapon and a mid range weapon and smoke or heartbeat sensor. Number 14, you can use self-revive kits to start the healing process. Once your friend gets to you, you can stop using it before it's completed. Your friend will actually start reviving you where you left off in that self-revive sequence and you won't use a self-revive kit. Number 15. You have a drop down menu at the bottom which allows you to drop cash, ammo or place to your friends or enemies if you wish. Number 16. Field upgrades include munitions box, trophy system, dead silence, recon drones, stopping power rounds, deployable cover, EMP drone, and the weapon drop. Number 17. If all your enemies call a UAV at the same time, including you, so three total UAVs, you will get an advanced UAV, showing, the, showing enemies' arrows and the enemies on the entire map. It is OP. Number 18. If you use a UAV, open your map to see the big picture of the map and locate more enemies. Number 19. Single tap on your ping button will deploy a yellow ping in the map or ping a supply. Double tap on the ping button, you will deploy a red enemy ping for your teammates. Number 20. If you do double tap the ping on an enemy, that red marker will follow the enemy for a couple seconds. Number 21. You can spray paint the enemies in the gulag. The paint will stay with them even when they enter the 1v1. Number 22. Be sure to communicate with your squad to see if they need ammo that you're not using. Drop it for them. Number 23. The gun's rarities do not make the gun stronger per se, like other battle royale games. It just means it has more and better attachments. Number 24. While in the gulag, touching the middle flag in 1v1 will heal you immediately. Number 25. Always melee your enemies in close proximity. You knock them in two hits even though they have full armor. Number 26. Cash is king. Get as many contracts as possible to buy UAVs and self-revive kits. Number 27. Pull your cash if you need to revive a teammate. Number 28. Try and use the cargo truck. You can go almost any obstacle. I have tried this cargo truck and believe me, you can go over anything. Number 29. You can pick up a teammate mid-air with the helicopter. Number 30. If you drop the helicopter from the sky, it will explode on impact. Use it as a bomb. Number 31. Ping button can highlight points of interest, incoming enemies, loot in the world, equipment, and vehicles. Number 32. Green gas is powerful in this game. It will kill you quickly and reduce visibility. Do not fuck with it. Number 33. Always make sure you have your armor full. Most important thing in a battle. Number 34. Most perks work the same way as they do in multiplayer, so choose them wisely. 
they can save your life. Number 35, always search for scavenger contracts. Not only do they contain money, but those loot boxes contain better equipment. Number 36, because of the time to kill and amount of players, I recommend you trying to get to the middle of the circle as early as is possible. Number 37, again, because of that time to kill, it is of vital importance that you stick with the team. A 2v1 in a game like this is a huge advantage. Number 38, remember to check your compass on the top when you hear shots. If they are close to you, you will get a red dot in the compass to the exact direction they are shooting from. Number 39, try to get recon contracts. Those will enable you to see where the next circle will be once you complete the contract. Do as many of those as you can. But number 40, hunted contracts. Threat level indicates how close that person is to you. Number 41, contract bonus. Whenever you complete a contract, your contract bonus will increase. This determines the level of the loot and cash earned by completing contracts. Once you are at level 6, this is a, there is a great chance in getting epic and legendary loot. Number 42, use your airstrike as binoculars. You can see enemies further away without needing a sniper, and enemies won't see the scope glare. Number 43, use two loadout draws for the vest class. The first loadout will be to select the class with your two favorite primary weapons using overkill. Next loadout drop will be to select the class that has ghosts on it, then pick up the weapons from your other class. Number 44, you get XP in the pre-game lobby, so try and get as many kills as you can. Number 45, go to options, general, HUD, HUD, whatever you want to call it, turn minimap shape to square. It will give you about 25-30% to 30 more minimap view. Number 46, go to Options, General, Accessibility, turn off Motion Blur and Weapon Blur. This will help you out tremendously, especially in a game like Battle Royale where you're constantly moving your aim. You will see more clearly. Number 47, if you don't want to tap and hold to pick up stuff, go to Options, Controller, Weapons, Use Reload Behavior, and set it to Contextual Chat. To Contextual Tap. Sorry about that. Number 48, if you're in the same Gulag with your teammate, make sure when one is fighting the other one, the other is giving call outs on where the other dude is. Number 49. In the gulag, always wait for your stun or flash. Once available, throw it and push. The stun is OP. Number 50. Most important tip is teamwork and call outs. Always check what your team needs and always check what they do have. Decide who will buy what from the store and stay together. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Hope you did enjoy these 50 tips and tricks. I know there were some a little bit more advanced than the other ones, but these were a lot of tips that I had to come in with. If you guys do have any extra tips that you guys would like to add, drop them down below in the comments, and maybe I will do part two. Thank you everybody for tuning in. I'll see you all in the next one.